We support our owners called BYOB, which means bring your old bag to the store. This is a main solution with our past and bag problem. We also actively participate in the future. We're a group from York Middle School that are currently participating in the Samantha Smith Service Learning Challenge. The Samantha Smith Challenge is a challenge for middle school students in the state of Maine to try to be like Samantha Smith and learn that they can make a difference in this world. Our team at school decided that we would have five groups that students could pick from to decide what group they wanted to be in. The five groups were environment, animal rights, drug abuse, hunger, health, and disease, and economy. Hello, my name is Will McDonald, and I am part of the Samantha Smith Challenge. In the beginning of this challenge, we took a survey on what kind of local problems you'd like to face. After the survey, you got sorted into five groups, economy, hunger or disease, environment, drug abuse, or animal rights. I got sorted into environment. We first made an all about us paper to see why we were so interested in, in the environment and so we could just know each other a little bit more. Then we made a wordle with words we can fall into the category of environment. That was just the beginning of the project. The team building activity that we did was one of the first projects in the Samantha Smith Challenge. First, we took a big piece of paper and traced a student on it. On the inside of the body, we put words that described what made a good team. On the outside of the body, we wrote words that described what did not make a good team. Afterwards, we hung it on the wall so everybody was reminded about the way they should act to cooperate and behave with the rest of the environment group. This was a big help to how everybody acted. Most of the time, everybody was on task, and it worked to remind people about how they should act. Overall, this part of the project went well. The local problem that is affecting our community is marine and plastic bag pollution in the Gulf of Maine and on York beaches. We also want to reduce the amount of single-use grocery bags in our local grocery stores. Our solution is to raise awareness about, about using reusable items. Also, to raise awareness, we are going to hold a beach cleanup. You can come help us at Long Sands Beach to clean and make a difference and help our communities. I think that's too soft. When we found our local issue, we had many steps to take to get to the solution. First, we had to find the solution. Then we had to make a task list to organize our tasks. Then we had to divide up ourselves into groups to complete the tasks. This caused a few arguments, but we pushed through and resolved our conflicts. Then we had to complete the tasks, like contact people and make flyers within our small groups. We also had to make a trifold board with our individual flyers on it. And now we have to actually carry out our solution, which for us is to have a beach cleanup at a local beach. The study standards is being able to conduct short research projects. We're going to be talking about the process of deciding the topics of our flyers in the research. We decided the topics for our informational flyers by going through different things that have to do with pollution. We had to go look at the topics a lot more deeply in order to create the flyers. The research involved multiple classes worth of looking at statistics and facts about pollution related topics. We put together flyers using the information we gathered and everything went accordingly. We have reached up on May 22nd. We have used our advisory time very productively. We have been working on our scripts and we have been cooperating together. We have worked on a coaster and a big group for Fridays. Our first day together as a big group, we made a list of ideas and came up with the idea of a beach club. As a group, we didn't face many setbacks. Our main problem was figuring out who had to work on which part of the project. As a group, we had to assign ourselves to a small group that we would then work on one aspect of the problem. Naturally, this caused arguments and nobody could agree. Eventually, we assigned jobs through social studies groups and started getting work done. So far, this has been the main conflict for the group. The environment group had a very good work ethic. We used our class time very wisely to get lots of things done. We created many solutions to our marine pollution problem and then decided on a few we could take action on. All the students in our group were very positive towards this project and came up with great ideas. We all worked together in making decisions so everyone would be happy with the outcome. In conclusion, the environment group had all worked well together and got all their responsibilities done. Contacting the York Parks and Rec was semi-hard because at first they didn't pick up, so I had to wait till the next day to call. We also had to contact Hannaford to ask to put up flyers. We learned that some things are easier said than done. For 
example, when we all said that we were going to do beach cleanup, it seemed really easy, but it took a lot of planning. We also had a hard time getting certain people to do certain things. Like, it was hard to find out who would make informational flyers and who would make the beach cleanup flyers. After all that was set up, it was pretty easy from then on, and everyone had great ideas that became a reality. Even though some ideas were harder than other, others, we followed through to try to make it work better for you.